I want to talk about David's running. I mean, um, you you can you can really relate to David because he's a, he's a person like us. Amen. He tended the flocks, and he was the youngest of brothers, and he got picked on, I'm sure. But the reality of David, when God called him, he didn't give him the kingdom, but he anointed him for the kingdom. Yes. And when he came into that, how can you imagine when, when you're called into ministry or you're called into the house of God and God has put something on you, but you, you really can't understand it. But when it's there... And you, you begin to question, why, well, why am I running? Why am I doing all this? If I'm supposed to be anointed, if I'm supposed to go in a direction, how, how can God make that way for me? Yes, yes. And I struggled in that because when I came in from the world, I was a bad person. I mean, the, the reputation that you have when you're out in the world and... You come into the house of God and you're trying to change that reputation. Because you don't want to be that bad guy no more. You want to be that person that's called of God to move into that, to that whole new realm of who you are. And you want to change who you are and what people think about you. You know, you can change. They're never going to change what they think about you. Because they think you're still coming back. I remember when we gave our hearts to the Lord, they said, ah, oh, give them a month. Give them a month. They'll be back. They'll be back in a tavern. They'll be shooting pool again. Almost 30 years later, we are still serving God 150%. No, I don't say 110%. I don't say 100 But I want to push more and more into what He is to me and have an understanding of what he can do for me. David is running for his life. And in several places he says, I'm only one step ahead of death. Because he knew if he stopped, that surely Saul was going to get him. And Saul, he didn't... In, in, in one chapter here, he, Saul tells his men, he's... Is David going to give you land? Is he going to give you wheat? Is he going to give you uh, servants? Is he going to do all this for you? No, he isn't. But I'm giving it to you. So, and 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 when when Jonathan came to to be with David, the, the Bible says their their souls knitted together. They were they were connected. And um, I grew up with. I had a friend that. Actually, it was my wife's cousin, but he was. But we became friends when I came up here. 